Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Food and Arm Wrestling. Today we're gonna make potatoes gnocchi, which is the only two ingredients. Uh, rosette potatoes and uh, all-purpose flour. Of course, we're gonna season it with the uh, salt. Right here, I have two pounds of rosettes. We're gonna use one cup of uh, AP flour. So first, we're gonna bank it at 350 for about an hour and a half. So we're gonna season the potatoes with uh, oil and salt. Remember to rinse and wash your potatoes properly. Give the potatoes plenty of salt. Make sure the salt seasoning evenly on the potatoes. Now we're gonna bank it at 350 for about an hour and a half. The reason we season with salt is to make sure that the salt draw out all the liquid from the potatoes so you have a better texture of uh, the gnocchi, the final products. After it's done, we're gonna cool down, cool the potato down a little bit. The easiest way to test if the potato is done, just stick the knife into it and if it's really soft, it's ready to go. Gonna leave it to cool down for 15 to 30 minutes. After the potatoes cool down after 15 minutes, we're gonna split it in half and scoop all of the potatoes into the bowl and let it completely cool down before we're adding our egg yolks in there. You can just peel, just peel the skin of the potatoes. A lot of recipes uh, recommend to use the potato riser, but I don't have it, so I'm using a whisk. Or you can even using the grater uh, to break down the potatoes and let it cool down completely. Of course, it's not gonna be. Uh, of course, it's not gonna work the same way. But uh, I just improvise. So anyone that cook at home, you can use the whisk to make your mashed potato too. You can use the food processor also, but the texture is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna take some time, but it. It's working. Make sure you break all of the big piece of potatoes. So after the potatoes completely cool down, we're gonna add in two egg yolks. We're gonna keep the egg whites so uh, later on we can make meringue or we can add the egg white into the uh, fried uh, fish fried uh, batter. I will leave a link below. Make sure we mix, mix it evenly before we add in the flour. I'm doing this this way because uh, I don't have a riser. The riser is gonna give it finer texture and fluffier, but this is gonna have a little bit of the uh, big chunk of uh, potatoes. So now the egg yolks into the uh, potato. We're gonna add in one cup of AP flour. Mix it really well until the potato mixture and the flour are incorporated. Be careful and do not overwork it because the gluten in the flour is gonna make it the texture like bread. And you want this dough to be fluffy. So when everything comes together like this, we're gonna work it on the silicone mats. Have some flour. The dough. So make sure that you add and plenty of flour on your hands. Uh, a lot of flour on the dough. We're gonna cut it in four equal pieces. And we're gonna roll it out. So now we're gonna cut it. Adding extra flour so they won't 
it won't stick together. Big or small they depend on your reference. For me like it's a little bit chunky like this. Make sure you give it plenty of uh, flour so they won't stick together. You can shape uh, by a fork like this. Press it down, press a hole and then roll it. You're gonna have a shape like that. Make a hole and then roll it down like that. Perfect uh, neat, uh, text practice. So I haven't done this for a long time so gonna look a little bit different. So as you can see the final products we're gonna have two types of uh, gnocchi. The first one I'm gonna we're gonna boil both of them before we saute them. So this we're gonna cook with the uh, tomato sauce and with this plastic one we're gonna just uh, crispy fry it, pan fried and then we're adding pesto. I'm gonna also leave the link in the description how to make pesto and we're gonna Cook it with butter also. Oil and butter and pesto. Very simple. Season with salt and pepper. Add some salt in the boiling water. Add the first batch of the gnocchi. Make sure you stir it a little bit so it's not burn at the bottom. So the gnocchi is done when you know that it's floating on the top. Now over here we're gonna add in olive oil and a little bit of butter. You can see right now it float to the top. Get it out of the water and go straight into the pan. So you can see it turn brown really quick so be careful with it so we're gonna turn the heat off and add in our pesto you can add heavy cream on salt if you want then salt pepper The original recipe say you can serve with Parmesan cheese but because I don't have it so I use smoked Gouda. Just depend on what you want just uh, add your cheese on. We are gonna use the same water from the first batch. Make sure to stir it so that it don't stick together or stick at the bottom of the pots. I'm gonna do the same thing with the first first batch adding oil butter and once the pasta flow on the top we're gonna cook it we're gonna brown it first before we put the tomato sauce in you see the pockets at the bottom of the pasta this one helps the pasta to hold the sauce inside with this one only we only need to brown one side if you want you can brown both sides but for me I'm just gonna do one side of it and then I'm gonna add in the pasta sauce once it's turned brown look beautiful look at how beautiful it is some sliced garlic in there Add in some pesto, or if you have fresh basil, you can add basil on top. Then we're gonna add the tomato sauce. Again, I don't have Parmesan cheese, so I add in smoked gouda, salt, and pepper. You can add any protein if you want to Ch grilled chicken fish shrimp whichever protein that you like the heat off add a little bit of parsley chopped parsley
Here we go, guys. Homemade gnocchi. So uh, there's a, a few things that I want to share with you. So don't overwork your potatoes, potatoes dough because it's going to give the gnocchi a chewy texture by uh, release the gluten from the flour that we use. And second thing is uh, improvise with uh, your kitchen equipment because sometimes you don't have the equipment for the recipe that available. And uh, third, uh, third one is the this recipe, all of my video is for home cook. So uh, it might have some mistake. So uh, thank you for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Remember to taste your food. Keep tasting after even after you season it. I'm I supposed to lose weight for the tournament in within two weeks. So this gonna I don't know. I don't know if it can make weights or not.